Hi, my name is Deborah Feller. I'm here in Barcelona giving a course on exercise for neck pain organized by Kenzen, and I've just been asked to say a few words about the, the, the topic of the course and the contents of the course. So within the course, we evaluate um, and discuss the various different neuromuscular changes that could be present in people with neck pain, uh, looking at cervicogenic headache, nonspecific neck pain, as well as whiplash-associated disorders, and look at some of the common features that have been identified through research, uh, but also discussing the individual variability um, in people with neck pain and how that variability is very important when it comes time to prescribing therapeutic exercise for people with neck pain uh, conditions. So included in the course, we run through a number of different assessments that we can use to identify whether or not the patient is presenting with any changes in muscle control or lacking strength or lacking endurance in their neck muscles. Uh, we also look uh, around the scapular region as well, uh, using symptom alteration tests to confirm, again, whether or not it would be relevant to include exercises specifically targeting those muscles for the person with neck pain. We also uh, evaluate uh, sensory motor disturbances, including proprioception, balance impairments, and disturbances in ocular motor control, and uh, practice the various different clinical tests that we can use to identify such impairments, and of course the type of training we can use to facilitate sensory motor control. So we also look at, in general, the evidence to support exercise for neck pain, uh, but also discuss some of the limitations that are currently present in that some people don't respond very well to exercise and we look at why that is, factors like central sensitization, how that can impact on exercise and how we can modify our treatment approach to um, enhance the outcome through training. Thank you.